September 19, Thursday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke A Pharisee invited Jesus to dine with him, and he entered the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. Now there was a sinful woman in the city who learned that he was at the table in the house of the Pharisee, bringing an alabaster flask of ointment. She stood behind him, at his feet, weeping and began to bathe his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and anointed them with the ointment. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who and what sort of woman this is, who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus said to him in reply, Simon, I have something to say to you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two people were in debt of a certain creditor. One owed 500 days wages and the other owed 50. Since they were unable to repay the debt, he forgave it for both. Which of them will love him more? Simon said in reply, The one, I suppose whose larger debt was forgiven. He said to him, You have judged rightly. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? When I entered your house, you did not give me water for my feet, but she has bathed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but she had not ceased kissing my feet since the time I entered. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my feet with ointment. So I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven, hence she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven, loves little. He said to her, Your sins are forgiven. The others at table said to themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? But he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord The one to whom little is forgiven loves little. The parallel is equally true. The one to whom much is forgiven loves much. Grace abounds in the humble person, as in the case of the sinful woman who accepts her countless faults and her need of God's mercy. Sin is sin as a debit and Jesus is the generous creditor or redeemer who cancels all debts. In the sacrament of penance and reconciliation, the person's sins are forgiven and grace is granted to the penitent. From the treasury of the church, which is of infinite value, and can never be exhausted because of Christ's merits before God. The church sets free the penitent from sin and the punishment due to sin through the action of the Holy Spirit.